Nikki Dodds, aka the Hip Hop Professional, also the founder and executive director of the Hip Hop Professional Foundation and the Silence to Shame Movement. So the Silence to Shame Movement is something that I started in 2015 to actually peel back the layers of shame and stigma around mental health. There's so many people that are suffering in silence in our community and what we're trying to do is to make sure that we educate and bring as much awareness to the communities as possible so people can seek treatment and get whatever type of help they need. We're also trying to make sure that we erase the stigma so people aren't embarrassed or ashamed if something is wrong. We all have mental health, but we all may not have a mental illness. The reason I'm so uh, passionate about the Silence of Shame movement is because my father completed suicide when I was seven months old and it was really difficult for my family. Fast forward, um, my best friend took her own life four years ago. I suffer from depression and in 2015 I had serious suicidal ideation and so I'm just out here really turning my pain into passion, um, celebrating people that take care of their mental health and emotional wellness and those that aren't afraid to speak up and share. I'm also releasing my new book called Silencing My Shame and it takes you through the journey of my emotional health and wellness but I'm very excited to be a mental health advocate and silencing my own shame. This idea of perfectionism, like everybody feels like they got to be perfect. Everybody putting so much pressure on themselves and people thinking that therapy is corny and it's not corny. Like what I'm is, actually uh, back no. in therapy I go every and week. I know you Friday at three o'clock. Friday at three. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> you left me hanging. See, I'm about to get depressed because you left oh, me sorry, hanging. I'm about to get <laughs> did you seek counseling or therapy at some point? I did. I, um, it took me a while to get there, but it was not until the anxiety reached a point. Um, and that, like I said, that was new to me. And I was just, I just thought I grew up in a Christian household. I was like, I'm going to shake right, it off. Right. It's gonna, I'm just going to pray it away. Like what is, you know, this is spiritual and it, and it, and it is, it can be. Um, but yeah, I have a therapist in LA. I have a therapist in Atlanta. You know what I mean? Yes, I, a therapist. I, I make, you know, I made sure. Y'all can clap for that. That's a good thing. <laughs> and the crazy thing, especially as it pertains to black males, we are always taught to pull ourselves up by the bootstraps, when a lot of times it may be mental, it may be genetic. And for me, I didn't know what was wrong. You know, I was extremely rich, models and cars and Bentleys, and something just wasn't right. You know, and I was able to, I was able to hide it well with good clothes and, you know, me looking as good as I do. <laughs> no one could ever imagine I was depressed, but I was. If you or anyone you love needs a hand, shine light on the darkness, speak on it, silence the shame. Yo, what up though, it's your boy Jeezy, that's right, the big homie. And I think it's time that we start the conversation to silence the shame. Y'all pay attention. I'm producer Will Packer. When it comes to mental health, it's time we silence the shame. It takes courage, but it can be done. Start the conversation in your family, where you worship, at school, or at home today. Use the hashtag silence the shame. Together, we can overcome this.